Bees can be nasty little insects sometimes. They either, like, while they're out gathering honey, can just com they completely ignore you, no matter how close you get to them. Or they could just be in full defense and attack mode if you get too close to their hive, if you rattle their hive a little bit. Today I was going through, I got a little lost in, <clears throat> in a golf course and I wanted to take a shortcut, get out of it. Um, and I had to go through a, like a, <clears throat> path, a, a, a bush, bush area. It's like, I... I got 20 feet in and all of a sudden there's this there's this large fly <laughs> buzzing around my head and I'm like what's what's the deal with this it's probably just passing by and then all of a sudden I felt a sting on my butt I was like ouch you know what what's the deal with that and I and I and I look over to my right and I see all these bees but like circling around like a bush uh, my first instant my first thought was well, maybe they're getting honey but then you know what then i got a when i got attacked you know when I, when i saw them it like registered as like maybe they're getting honey but instantly i was like no no I, I got bit on my my butt so i instantly just bolted i just ran um with my bicycle too, mind you, and it wasn't easy getting through the bushes up to that point. That's probably partly why I rattled them, and partly why I didn't notice them is because I, I just I was dragging my bicycle over bushes and just um, shaking everything up. So I ran with my bicycle as far as I could, and then it really got stuck. And all I could do is just I just stood there, slowly, hoping that they didn't that they, they wouldn't pursue me any further. And I had a good minute or two, um, and then all of a sudden one just comes over to me like it it uh, it knew that I would be heading in that direction, and and uh, it just started coming at me. So I I uh, I I felt I started swatting at it. And I, I fell to the ground as, as I was swatting at it. And it was that instance when I was laying on the ground and I didn't know exactly where it was. Uh, I just said, screw it. I, I ran and left my bicycle. I lost a sandal. And I, I ran out uh, another good f 30 feet or so and onto, onto a street. Because this bush area wasn't, ex wasn't extremely large. So I got to the street, and then and then stood and waited to see if uh, it would have still that bee still have pursued me, and it didn't. Um, it, it was kind of a it was kind of a black, really dark kind of a bee, kind of a good sized bee too. But yeah, that that area I went through doesn't see probably any human activity so I'm sure it was really jolting for them to get to get uh, um, messed with in that way and I'm, I'm glad it uh, you know my, my butt is fine it the, the bee really had to go through a couple of layers of clothing I'm glad it chose my my butt as opposed to like my face it um, but yeah, one bee ho hovered around my head, and I just kind of, I kind of, you know, I kind of stood still a little bit. I was like, I'll let it set, all settle down. But when I got bit, I'm like, oh, they got me. But um, <clears throat> I bet most of the bees were confused, and just a couple were on like serious guard duty. Got to guard the queen. So it was, it was uh, really alarming. I, I had to to run on adrenaline. Uh, to get out of that area, um, and uh, I, I got to make sure I, I uh, am more careful about going through bushes like that, especially bringing my bicycle. I, I have to rattle a lot more things, move th more things around to get that my bicycle through bushes. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge.